Hi, I'm real estate agent Don Andrews, and this is Instant Home Tips, the video newsletter that aims to bump up your homeowner enjoyment by solving problems on everything from how to get rid of pet odors to how to reduce your property taxes, which is the subject of this program. I'm standing here with yet another letter in my hand that came through the mail that claims my property taxes can be reduced. Now, I'd like to believe this, but it's through the mail that I also get other offers from people like fortune tellers and miracle dog trainers. It would be great if taxes could be reduced because for a lot of people they are surprisingly high. After all, these days if you buy a house for $500,000, you're going to be paying more than $6,000 a year in taxes. That's a lot of Starbucks coffee. That will be $920. Okay, well maybe not that much Starbucks, but it's a lot of money. That's why I thought it would be a good idea to get the real story as to whether taxes can be reduced, and that's why we were very happy to be able to go talk with the premier authority on the subject, our very own Los Angeles County Tax Assessor. His name is John Nogis, and his office is located right in downtown LA. I am standing here with John Nogis, our 26th Assessor for Los Angeles County. John, let me just say a few things to you. You, This is an elected position. It is. You were elected in with one million votes. Yes. You uh, were the mayor of Huntington Park for yes. 10 years. In this job, you oversee 2.6 million assessments of properties. I sure do. All and right. I probably have yours too. <laughs> John, uh, for this reason, I think you are the perfect person to ask this question to, and that is, we hear constantly that it is possible to get our property taxes lowered from one source or another. John, is this true? Is it possible to get our property taxes lowered? Yes, it is. And the way you do that is you can either fill out a form or go to my website and automatically do that from our website. We can mail you the form also. It's a petition that is completely free. Oftentimes, people think that you have to pay for the service absolutely not it's free go to the assessor's website uh, print on forms and print that form out it's called a decline in value form if someone is successful with an appeal to have their taxes lowered does that alter their prop 13 status at all their prop 13 status is protected even though you purchase that home for $500,000 and it has now dropped to a little bit less than that, we will monitor it on a year-by-year -year basis until it gets back to your protection, but it cannot exceed the 2% trended Beautiful. base value. Nice. So it will not go up more than that base value. John, thank you so much. Thank it's you. really nice. <laughs> So, the bottom line is, if your current property value is less than its assessed value, that's when you're a good candidate for an appeal. Here's a quick way to check on that. Find your assessed value on your tax bill, then go to Zillow.com to get a ballpark estimate of your property's current value. If the assessed value is higher, you could be in a good position to start saving tax money. Money that could be put toward the more important things in life, like golf. Thanks to John Nogus for talking with us. My name is Don Andrews. I'm the real estate agent with the appraiser's resume. If you have any questions on any part of this program, except possibly for the miracle dog training, feel free to contact me. If you would like to know the current assessed value of your house, I have that information available and I'm happy to share it with you. And if you go to realtor-don.com, you can sign up to receive these videos delivered to you by email. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.